Hi again, this is Andy K for GKP. Welcome back to the Hand Whisperer and lesson three in the general class operator element three exam. In this lesson, we go over the G1C questions. The G1C questions cover transmitter power regulations and HF data emission standards. All right, let's get going. What is the maximum transmitting power an amateur station may use on 10.140 megahertz? Well, on 10.140 megahertz, you can use 200 watts PEP output. Now this is in the 30 meter band, and this is the one with all the restrictions. This is, uh, you can't use, you can only use data, RTTY, and Morse code for the most part. One of the reasons is that amateur operators are not necessarily the priority signal on 30 meters, and too much power runs the risk of causing interference to a priority station. What is the maximum transmitting power an amateur station may use on the 12 meter band? Well, on the 12 meter band, you can use 1500 watts PEP output, and with a couple exceptions, majority of HF bands, that's, that's the max PEP output you can use. Um, this is an awful lot of juice, and you always need to use the minimum amount of power necessary when maintaining a communication, so 1500 watts usually should not be necessary, but you can use up to 1500 watts on the 12 meter band. What is the maximum transmitting power a general class licensee may use when operating between 7025 and 7125 kilohertz? Well, this is the 40 meter band and you can use 1500 watts PEP output. So just remember the default. What limitations other than the 1500 watt PEP limit are placed on transmitter power in the 14 megahertz band? 14 megahertz is 20 meters. And the answer is only the minimum power necessary to carry out the desired communication should be used, and that's the limitation. So that's kind of a rule of thumb anyway. You only use as much power as necessary to carry out the communication. So it's sort of a trick question. What is the maximum transmitting power a station with a general class control operator may use on the 28 megahertz band? Well, 28 megahertz is 10 meters, and I'll let you guess, yep, it's 1500 watts PEP output. What is the maximum transmitting power an amateur station may use on 1825 kilohertz? Well, once again, 1500 watts PEP output, 1825 is the 160 meter band. This is a trend. Which of the following is a requirement when a station is transmitting on the 60 meter band? Well, the, the requirement they're looking for is transmissions must not exceed an effective radiated power of 50 watts PEP, referred to a dipole antenna. Now, basically what it means is that you can't go over 50 watts on 60 meters. 30 meters and 60 meters is the HF band exceptions to the 1500 watt rule. What is the maximum symbol rate permitted for RTTY emissions transmitted on frequency bands below 28 megahertz? Well, the maximum symbol rate is 300 baud. So if you do RTTY and HF below 10 meters, you cannot exceed 300 baud. Something to memorize. What is the maximum symbol rate permitted for packet emission transmissions on the 2 meter band? Well, it's 19.6 kilobaud, and if you remember the symbol rate question on the HF bands, it's 300 baud. So 19.6 on 2 meters is significantly faster. However, this is another memorization question that you just got to know. What is the maximum symbol rate permitted for RTTY or data emission transmissions on the 10 meter band? Well, for 10 meters, it's 1200 baud. And yes, it's another BOD question you got to memorize. What is the maximum symbol rate permitted for RTTY or data emission transmissions on these 6 and 2 meter bands? Well, it's sort of a repeat question because you already had the 2 meter band question associated with this. It's 19.6 kilobaud. So if you think VHF, just think 19.6 kilobaud. Now, there's sort of a theme here in that HF, not including 10 meters, is the slowest. 10 meters is in the middle, and VHF is the fastest as far as BOD rates. Now, there is sort of a trick that will help you out with the BOD questions. Now, disregard the verbiage on this because I misread kilobod with BOD, so it, disregard the, the slowest one. Now, all the answers, possible answers for all the BOD questions are pretty much the same. Now, the fastest possible answer is 56 kilobod, and that doesn't answer any of the questions, so just kank that one out. And then the rest of the answers fall nicely in place. So if you can remember that below 10 meters is slowest, 10 meters is medium, and VHF is the fastest, you'll do fine. What is the maximum authorized bandwidth for RTTY data or multiplexed emissions using unspecified digital code transmitted on the 6 and 2 meter bands? 
All right, there's really no really rhyme or reason I can think about this, but it's 20 kilohertz. So it's one of those ones you just have to muscle it in and memorize. What is the maximum bandwidth permitted by FCC rules for amateur stations when operating on USB frequencies in the 60 meter band? The answer to this one is 2.8 kilohertz, and it's another memorization challenge. Um, remember, 60 meter bands works more like channels like CB than the other HF bands. So you want to kind of keep that bandwidth sort of narrow. So just kind of remember 2.8 kilohertz, and I'll have everything you need to memorize on the website. And now it's time for the G1C quiz. So take out that piece of paper and pencil and number 1 through 13. When you're done with the quiz, you can find the answers at hamwhisper.com under the exam answers page under lesson 3, G1C. And with that said, let's get started on the quiz. Question 1. What is the maximum transmitting power an amateur station may use on 10.140 MHz? A, 200 watts PEP output. B, 1000 watts PEP output. C, 1500 watts PEP output. Or D, 2000 watts PEP output. Question two. What is the maximum transmitting power an amateur station may use on the 12 meter band? A, 1500 watts PEP output, except for 200 watts PEP output in the novice portion. B, 200 watts PEP output, C, 1500 watts PEP output, or D, effective radiated power equivalent to 50 watts from a half-wave dipole. Question 3. What is the maximum transmitting power a general class licensee may use when operating between 7025 and 7125 kilohertz? A, 200 watts PEP output, B, 1500 watts PEP output, C, 1000 watts PEP output, or D, 2000 watts PEP output. Question 4. What limitations other than the 1500 watt PEP limit are placed on transmitter power in the 14 megahertz band? A. Only the minimum power necessary to carry out the desired communications should be used. B. Power must be limited to 200 watts when transmitting between 14.1 megahertz and 14.150 megahertz. C. Power should be limited as necessary to avoid interference to another radio service on the frequency or D, effective radiated power cannot exceed 3,000 watts. Question 5. What is the maximum transmitting power a station with a general class control operator may use on the 28 megahertz band? A, 100 watts PEP output. B, 1,000 watts PEP output. C, 1,500 watts PEP output. Or D, 2,000 watts PEP output. Question 6. What is the maximum transmitting power an amateur station may use on 1,825 kilohertz? A, 200 watts PEP output. B, 1,000 watts PEP output. C, 1,200 watts PEP output. Or D, 1,500 watts PEP output. Question 7. Which of the following is a requirement when a station is transmitting on the 60 meter band? A, transmissions may only use lower sideband. B, transmissions must use only CW or data modes. C. Transmissions must not exceed an effective radiated power of 50 watts PEP referred to a dipole antenna. Or D. Transmissions must not exceed an effective radiated power of 200 watts PEP referred to a dipole antenna. Question 8. What is the maximum symbol rate permitted for RTTY emissions transmitted on frequency bands below 28 MHz? A. 56 kilobaud. B. 19.6 kilobaud. C. 1200 baud. Or D. 300 baud. Question 9. What is the maximum symbol rate permitted for packet emission transmissions on the 2 meter band? A. 300 baud. B. 1200 baud. C. 19.6 kilobaud. Or D. 56 kilobaud. Question 10. What is the maximum symbol rate permitted for RTTY or data emission transmissions on the 10 meter band? A. 56 kilobaud. B. 19.6 kilobaud. C. 1200 baud or D, 300 baud. Question 11. What is the maximum symbol rate permitted for RTTY or data emission transmissions on these 6 and 2 meter bands? A, 56 kilobaud, B, 19.6 kilobaud, C, 1200 baud, or D, 300 baud. Question 12. What is the maximum authorized bandwidth for RTTY data or multiplexed emissions using an unspecified digital code transmitted on the 6 and 2 meter bands? A, 
20 kilohertz, B, 50 kilohertz, C, the total bandwidth shall not exceed that of a single sideband phone emission, or D, the total bandwidth shall not exceed 10 times that of a CW emission. And question 13. What is the maximum bandwidth permitted by FCC rules for amateur radio stations when operating on USB frequencies in the 60 meter band? A, 2.8 kilohertz, B, 5.6 kilohertz, C, plus or minus 2.8 kilohertz, or D, 3 kilohertz. And that is it for the quiz and the lesson three. So go to handwhisper.com to check your answers. You can find them under the exam answers page. And until lesson four, this is Andy, KE4GKP, saying 73, and I hope to hear you on the...